I think it's time everybody in the NBA takes the Philadelphia 76ers seriously. This is the case as the Philadelphia 76ers just got another crucial win against a Pacers team that was super hot. This win puts the Philadelphia 76ers third in the Eastern Conference and in today's video we'll be going over the three reasons why the Philadelphia 76ers took home a very important win over the Pacers and I'm also going to be telling you why this win is important for the Sixers. So if you want to find all that out, make sure you stick till the end of the video. Before we go any further, make sure you smash the like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes as it lets me know that you love the video and make sure you hit the subscribe button as I realize that more than 90% of you guys are not subscribed. But enough of me talking, let's get right into today's video. Let's get on to the first reason why the 76ers got the victory over the Pacers and this was the impact impactful play by Shake Milton. Shake Milton's been a player that is very underrated on the Philadelphia 76ers and nobody wants to appreciate him. He had 15 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. He was a very good 6 man coming off the bench. Shake Milton provides the 76ers with excellent 3 point scoring as he scored 4 out of his 6 3 pointers so he shot 66% from the 3 point line. This amazing 3 point shooting by Shake Milton gave James Harden and Joel Embiid so much more room to operate and let me tell you this makes the job of Joel Embiid and James Harden so much more easier because they can just pass it to Shake Milton whenever they're getting trapped. And this was a prime example as James Harden had 20 assists and most of these assists went to Shake Milton when James Harden was getting trapped in a double team. So it's very important once again to have these three point shooters around Superstar. Now let's move on to the second reason why the Philadelphia 76ers pulled off a victory against the Pacers. So this was Jalen McDaniels. Jalen McDaniels is becoming this guy that's starting to find some more consistency. In the past games, he's gotten into foul trouble and hasn't really gotten the ability to display his skills for the Philadelphia 76ers fans. But finally, tonight against the Pacers, Jalen McDaniels put up 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 1 assist. This gives the 76ers a guy that can shoot on the court. And in addition to all this, Jalen McDaniels is a very good pick and roll player that can actually pair alongside James Harden. And James Harden loves playing pick and rolls. So I think Jalen McDaniels was a good addition on the 76ers team and it showed against the Pacers as McDaniels had a brilliant performance. And now let's move on to the third and final reason why the 76ers pulled off the victory against the Pacers. And I can't go without talking about Joel Embiid. Like, come on, man. Joel Embiid had 42 points. Are you kidding me? Five rebounds, three assists, two steals and a block. But one thing that really stood out to me was Joel Embiid was very aggressive this game. He put his head down and he wanted to go for that 50 points. I even felt it when I was watching him play. But something that stood out to me was his ability to get to the free throw line and make it. Joel Embiid got to the free throw line so many times. He had 19 free throw shots and he made all 19 of them. So he shot 100% from the free throw line. And this is very important as when you're trying to close out a game, you need your superstars like Joel Embiid and James Harden to be knocking down their free throws. And this was the case tonight. And the reason why this victory against the Pacers was very important is because the Eastern Conference is getting stacked as the days go along, as our teams trying to make it up to the fifth seed, teams trying to make it up to the third seed. So it was very important for the Philadelphia 76ers to establish that little gap from the third seed and fourth seed as the Cleveland Cavaliers were closing in on them. So they got a two game difference from the Cleveland Cavaliers now and I can pretty safely say that I think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to maintain this third seed. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the Philadelphia 76ers can maintain their top three seed in the Eastern Conference or do you think that they're going to drop down a little bit? And before you leave the video guys make sure you smash that like button. Let's get this video to 100 likes if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. That's been all for your boy Muvzi. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.